Hi everyone, welcome to the channel A School Academy. Today we are going to see Entity Relationship Diagram in Database. So what is ERD? ER Diagram stands for Entity Relationship Diagram. And also known as ERD is a diagram that displays the relationship of entity sets stored in a database. In other words, ER diagram helps to explain the logical structure of your databases. Okay? So basically, ER diagram is what it is used to logically explain the structure of your database. Okay? And it tells how the relationship of entity sets are stored in a database. Right? History of ER models, ER diagrams are virtual tools that are helpful to represent the ER model. Peter Chain proposed ER diagram in 1971 to create a uniform convention that can be used for relational databases and networks. He aimed to use an ER model as a conceptual modeling approach. So this is what the history it was. Introduced by Peter Peter Chi and uh, in the year 1971. Okay. Why to use ER diagram? Here are prime reasons for using the ER diagram. Helps you to define terms related to entity relationship modeling. Provide a preview of how all your tables should connect. What fields are going to be on each table. Helps to describe entities, attributes, and relationships. ER diagrams are translab translatable into relational tables, which allows you to build databases quickly. Okay, so why to use your ER diagram? So basically here, ER diagram, it tells us how all your tables should be connected. Okay, tables, kis tarha se link hone chahiye, right? And... What will be the attributes? Those can come along with the table, right? So here, and what will be the relationship of the table? So this is how we are making use of ER diagram. The databases designer gains a better understanding of the information to be contained in the database with the help of ER diagram. Basic components of ERD. ER diagrams contain different symbols that use rectangles to represent entities. This is what the rectangle I have written here inside student. It is basically used to represent the entity set. Okay. Ovals. This is what the oval to define attribute. Like I have taken the entity set as student. Uska attribute kya hai? Student name. And it is represented with the help of ovals. Diamond, this is what the diamond shapes to represent relationship. Okay, I have written has over here, but this is nothing but the relationship and it is represented with the help of diamond. Example of ERD, I have taken here the example car insurance company has a set of customers, each of whom owns one or more cars. Each car is associated with zero to any number of recorded accidents. So, this is what the question. Okay, now we are about to draw ER diagram for this question. So here are certain steps we need to follow. The very first step is what? Identify the entity set. Here, based on this question, as the question is already given, depending upon the question, we need to identify the entity sets. Okay, so here entity sets can be insurance company, customer, car, and accident. What means? Entity set. I have already covered in the previous lectures. So please watch those videos, okay? To understand what is the meaning of entity set. Okay? Insurance company is an entity set over here. Customer is an entity set. Car is an entity set. And accident is again an entity set. Se step 2 is what? Attribute for entity set we need to identify. I have taken an example over here. Like I have taken insurance company is my entity set. What all the attributes can come for this insurance company? So here I have taken company ID, company name, company address and company contact number. 
So these are the attributes. Those are associated with your company, insurance company T1. Next step three is what identify relationship and the relationship type. Okay. So basically, I can tell here, depending upon the question here, insurance company has a set of customer. So what it is telling is, yes, insurance company is going to have a set of customer. This is what just we have to uh, place it into the ER diagram. Like here I have taken, insurance company has customer. This has this word the relationship and how this two entities that are associated, insurance company and the customer. Those are related one to many. Okay, next customer owns car, own is nothing but the relationship and the relationship type is what? What to many? Car meets accident, meets is what the relationship and the relationship type is what? One to many. The same I have taken in the ER diagram. Step four is what? Using above information, we are going to draw ER diagram. I have taken company set, entity set, customer entity set, car entity set and accident entity set. Okay. So basically, how we are going to read this? Company has customer. One company has many customer, right? One customer owns many cars, okay? One customer can own many cars. One customer can own one car, okay? Next, car meets accident, okay? Car meets accident. This Accident entity set I have taken as the weak entity set. Why so I have taken this weak entity set? Weak entity set is represented into the double rectangle. Okay. I have taken this as a weak entity set because see. Accident entity set is totally dependent on the car. Right. Accident entity set is totally dependent on the car. Car hai, tabhi accident ho re. Car nahi hai, to accident nahi ho re, Right. Okay, so this is what, why I have taken this as a weak entity set because accident entity set is totally dependent on the car. Car nai tabi accident ho re, right? That's why I have taken this as weak entity and car is the strong entity over here. So here, see, 0 or 1, as in the question it is mentioned what? See here, each car is associated with 0 to any number of recorded accident, okay? Zero accident to sakte here any number of it can be one, it can be two, it can be three, right? So here basically you can see zero or one, zero accident hai, okay? Zero car meets with the accident, okay? One car meets with the accident, right? So this is how we are writing this zero to one meets many accident, okay? So this is what the ER diagram for the above scenario. One company has many customer. One customer owns many car, zero or one car meets many accident. Okay, so this is what the example. Next example is here. Star is the agency for flat booking and it has a number of builders and agents who are jointly working. A customer can get a flat for residential or commercial purpose. If a customer is approached through an agent, then agency and builders are giving some commission to the agent. Aging shows various flats in size within various locations. Okay, this is what the question. You have to understand the question carefully. Here one agency is there which is dealing with the flat booking. And definitely it is having number of builders and agents who are jointly working. Okay, read the question accordingly. Find out uh, the uh, entity sets, uh, the attributes associated with the entity set and the relationship and the relationship types. Okay, the here you can see. Here, step one is what? You have to identify the entity set. So here, agency, customer, builder, agent, commission, flat, commercial, and residential. This all are nothing but the entity set, okay? This all are nothing but the entity set depending upon the above question, right? Step two is what? We need to identify the attributes. I have taken the example, one example here, agency I have taken. Agency ID or writing, agency name you are writing, and agency address. This all are what? This all are nothing but the attribute of your agency T1 or the agency entity set. Step 3 is what? Relationship and the relationship types you must identify. Relationship between agency and customer is what? Agency opened for home customer. Okay. And is having one to many relationship. 
Next, customer requires flat. Customer and flat, these two are the uh, entity set and the relationship is what requires and the type of relationship is what many to many. Customer approached through agent, approached is the relationship and then having the type of relationship as many to many. Agency gives commission, gives is the relationship and type of relationship is what one to many. Builder gives commission, okay, and it is, uh, builder gives commission and the relationship is what? One to many, okay? And the relationship is what? One to many. So here you can see the step four is what? You need to draw an ER diagram, okay? Depending upon the above uh, information, whatever we are having, so here you can see this is what the customer table, okay? This is what the customer entity set. And along with it, you are having what? The attributes, okay? C number, C name and phone, okay? C number is the primary key, just underline it, okay? C name and phone. So customer requires flag. Many customer requires many flags, okay? Here, agency, one agency has agent, one agency has builder. One agency gives many commissions to agent, okay? Next is what? Again here, many builders gives many commission to many agents, right? And here, many customer are approached through many agents, right? And here see, customer requires many flats. Now here, flat is a commercial and residential. So here, specialization concept has been introduced. Okay, flat is a commercial and residential. For specialization and generalization, please watch my previous video for, so that you can better understand it. Okay, so this is how you're going to draw the ER diagram for the above scenario. Okay, go through it, you will understand it, right? Next, the disadvantages, here, no industry standard notation, okay? There is no industry standard for developing an ER model. So, one developer might use notations which are not understood by other developers, okay? That means what? No industry standard is there for developing any ER model. Next is nothing but the hidden information. Some information might be lost or hidden in the ER model. As it is a high level view, so there are chances that some details of information might be hidden. Okay. So, you have a conceptual level designer, a high level designer, right? So, there are the chances that some of the information might be hidden in this scenario. Sub ke sab nahi dikhengi, jise kuch attributes hamne lagani or kuch attributes hum miss kar diye lagana, right? And those have been implemented while we have taken or while we have created the table. So these are some disadvantages of the uh, ER model. Okay, thank you for watching this video. Do like and subscribe my channel. Thank you.